The following is a production of the University of Minnesota. The nesting story for bumblebees begins with a short tour of their life cycle. In the spring of each year, the new queens from last year's hive come out of hibernation and begin their own hive. The queen has created a ball of bee bread into which she has inserted her eggs. She also stored nectar in a wax container from which she feeds herself as she incubates her eggs. She produces the first generation of workers who then take on the role of foragers while the queen stays at home and tends to nest duties. The queen is significantly larger than the workers because she needs the excess fat to provide energy throughout the winter dormancy period. In this video clip, you can see the queen and the arrival of a new female worker. The newborn has white hair that is a little matted relative to the fluffed hair of older workers. In addition, note that the wings of the newborn are curved along the back of the abdomen. She has not yet expanded and dried her wings, which needs to happen before she can fly. You can see one of the wax pots in this Bombus impatience nest. The exposed nature of this nest is an anomaly. However, we can follow a worker bee returning with full pollen baskets. She works her way back to the nest area and we just missed her popping the basket contents off her leg into one of the wax pots. In this more mature nest, you can see the wax pots, some of which are filled with nectar, while others are empty. Typically, in the late summer, the queen produces male bees and new queens, whereas prior to this, she has produced only females. The males mate with the new queens. Following this, the newly inseminated queens search for a location to hibernate throughout the winter. All other individuals, including males, female workers, and the old queen die, completing the annual cycle. In the early spring, you will encounter large new queens who are looking for a suitable nest site. You can observe them inspecting holes in the ground or other dark areas. These queens seem to show no interest in flowers, so any queen found filling her pollen baskets has most likely already found a suitable nest site. Queens do not excavate an area for their nests, but rather look for natural or human-made cavities. Abandoned rodent holes often create the type of cavity that bumblebee queens are looking for. This is a bumblebee nest entrance in a turf area which we believe leads to a soil cavity created by a rodent. Note the empty pollen basket of this Bombus fervidus bee leaving on a forage run, and in this following clip, a Bombus fervidus returning, having filled her pollen basket with a brown color pollen. Bumblebees have used the cavity created by ground movement under this short limestone wall. In this clip, a cavity has been generated under this garden edging rock. And again, Bombus fervidus has built a nest within. We see two different worker bees returning with different colored pollen from different plants. One of the blueberry growers in our study has provided many forage plants for the bumblebee population, which has multiplied and in a sense created a housing crisis. The queen bees have demonstrated remarkable creativity finding unique places to build their nests on the property. We often saw bumblebees flying through the slats of the barn 
presumably going to a nest site inside. The barn is rarely used, so the bee nests are rarely, if ever, disturbed. This additional structure also housed a bombus or a comus nest as I observed a female come and go through the knot hole in the upper door. Her nest was located inside behind some old machinery stored in a corner. The farmer noticed bumblebees coming and going from the hole in this structure of a trailer that has been turned into a picnic bench. The most outrageous nest location that we discovered was under the floorboard housing of a Kubota lawnmower. The bees must have located a cavity under this board. While the lawnmower is idle, bees come and go as they please. When the motor is started, a few bees will exit the nest. Following mowing, the lawnmower is parked in an open shed. All the bees that have completed foraging are now waiting for their nest to return. When it does, there are some 5 to 10 bees that immediately go to their nests. 